So this is just blended up paper and water. There's no chemicals added. We took hundreds of books that were gonna get thrown away. Or just we couldn't find a use for. We shredded it all up and just add water. And we have these frames so that each page for every book will be about the same size. And we just lift it up. Depending on how long you pulp it, there will be a little bit of typeface left. And what I like about it is for a project that's, you know, bringing in all these histories, having these like artifacts of these like these blended literary histories are present too, which is kind of nice. So the next step is simply you lay a screen over it and you press as much water out as you can. Which is kind of a subjective step depending on who's doing it. We're doing this. 5,000 times. <laughs> We're gonna make enough, enough books for a thousand people to have their histories included in the library. It takes about, how long do you think to make one sheet of paper? Um, I would say if you're doing it in crazy robot mode, one minute, but it can take up to five minutes, maybe. Gently peel back the screen. And this is called a couch sheet, which is reusable. It's a really absorbent paper. And then you sponge again. And get another couch sheet. And lay that over. And these are press bars that are made out of uh, recycled milk jugs. But people use like, you know, cans of food or rolling pins or bricks or whatever kind of heavy object they have. And this is the final press before it goes in the book press. So now, hypothetically, you have a very strong sheet of paper. There you go. Well, now we'll uh, dry it in a press for about 18 hours. <laughs>